Namaskar. Thank you so much. Uh, this is my first time here. And my question is a little bit more personal. I'm an opera singer and I have been working as a freelancer for many, many years now. And the choice of my profession comes from my heart. In one of your videos, you touched uh, one topic that who we are is enough. We don't have to be anything more. And this resonated with me because I can't find it in myself. Somehow I'm constantly hungry ambitions, but also my profession pushes me to do so. Uh, I have to be in competition because I have to win auditions to get a job and simply money. I have to be a hunter. The problem is somehow that I have moments when I have concert marathons and I'm so happy and joyful, but also I have moments when I have nothing. And these moments exhaust me mentally and cause a lot of pain. Um, and the jealousy comes and ego and so on. And it's so difficult to find satisfaction in normal life when I experience strong emotions on stage um, and I'm becoming someone extraordinary like sorceress or princess, you know. So I can't seem to feel like I'm enough when I'm not singing and I would be grateful for your advice uh, how to find it. Thank you. So Doro, you're probably in one of the most tough professions with regard to that, um, that, that feeling of being the diva that feeling of being recognized, admired, looked up to. It's a rare profession. And from that point of view, practically all opera singers are looked up to in society because they're so rare. It's a very uh, difficult thing to achieve. And it's a brave person who takes up that battle with the ego of recognition because to do your work in a sense of surrender and humility is challenging when on that stage you receive that kind of adulation. If you want to live a life which is balanced and which is strong and quiet at the same time and peaceful also, then you're going to have to take that up on a war footing you don't have that choice because either you take it up on a war footing or you have mental problems down the road. And by mental problems, I mean states like depression, even, even uh, quite heavy depression and other associated ills. So it's not a choice for you, you have to take it up especially being in that profession. If you worked in a factory where you filled bottles of jam, it would be less of a challenge. But your profession? So, the way you take this up is, every morning when you wake up, you deeply acknowledge everything you have because it's always important to go to what you have. You have an amazing profession, something you love to do. You're even able to make any money with it whatsoever, which is already a very big thing, as you very well know. And to acknowledge the fact that you have a voice that allows you to take up that profession, that you have the technique, that you have the, the, the ability that you also have the strength to fight your way through. These are things to acknowledge every morning, not every second morning. Every morning, and this applies to everyone, each in their own way, even if you're filling bottles of jam. So if you can just take that up as a sadhana, it'll already make you feel so much better about yourself, especially in the dry phases, when there is no work upcoming. Also, remember the voice changes as you grow older. There may come a time when, when the voice is not doing what you want it to do, perhaps. And you need to be ready for that. So, it's about acknowledging deeply, having gratitude in, in the last cell of your body for what you have received. And if you start with that and you take that up on a war footing, then half the battle is won. And when those times come, when you are, when you have work, when you're on that stage, when you're experiencing the adulation of all those people, adulation or, or 
appreciation, that is the moment when you inwardly bend and you understand that this body is only an instrument. You, Doro, are only an instrument. If you think you're anything more than that, you're very wrong about it. You're just an instrument. Your work is to provide that, that experience of music, of your beautiful voice to the others. It's a work, it's a humble work and that's all it is. And if you can take that up, who knows where you'll reach and you won't stand in your own way. This body is an instrument. It is an instrument of the Atman impulse, the soul impulse. That's, that's what it is and that's only what it is, it's not more than that. And you go with the Truth, you go with the Truth, you bend, you bend, you're in gratitude. On that stage, everyone's looking at you, you are not looking at them. You are going inward and you're bending to the Source, to the Truth of your Being, to the Center, to the Master of your Being, your Antar Guru, the inward residing Guru, Teacher, Master, the, 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 the Truth Impulse. Yes. Thank you so much. Namaskar. Yes, uh, I will think about it and I think the gratitude will be the best. Thank you so much. Namaskar.